Welcome to another episode of SEL News. I'm your host, SEL Matt, and today is Monday, February 20th. So about a week and a half ago, I, I alerted you to a deal from GameStop. They had a listing up for the Patina High Volt character. This is going back all the way to Superchargers last year, and it's one of the Chase variants. I know some of you were questioning this listing, questioning whether or not they actually had these figures, but they did in fact ship. I got my figure right here. I know a number of you have uh, posted, shown me you've got your figure as well. Glad to hear they shipped. So there you have it, Patina High Volt. Uh, obviously they're sold out now, but I'm glad to see that a number of you were able to get your hands on them. So we'll go ahead and put him up on the shelf here. Add him to the collection and get on to some more or current news, I guess, or upcoming news. So in Skylanders Imaginators then, we got a lot of more information this week. Wave 4, Amazon Italy has put up box shots for Wave 4, or at least for some of the product. We got box shots for the single pack of Peñata, we got the single pack of Grave Clobber, and we got a single pack of the Dark Creation Crystal. And I know this is the one a lot of you have been waiting for, a single pack Dark Creation Crystal. So in this image, we find out that they are going to be shipping a Dark Pyramid Creation Crystal. Unfortunately, this is not the crystal we were all hoping for, since the Dark Pyramid has already uh, shown up in the 8-pack of Creation Crystals, as well as a triple pack, and now it's in a single pack as well. So there's going to be plenty of Dark Pyramid Crystals to go around, but at least it will be uh, an, another option for you to get your hands on a Dark Creation Crystal if you haven't gotten one of them yet. Now I will say, it is still possible, there is a small chance that we could see another, like a second Dark Creation Crystal in this assortment. So Wave 4 will still ship as an assortment like we've seen in the other waves. It's just gonna have more duplicates from previous waves and then a couple of new crystals, which we don't know what those other new crystals are. We only know about the Dark Pyramid because that's the image they chose to use. They didn't tell us if there's gonna be a second Dark Crystal. It, it, it's still up in the air. Anything could happen with that yet. And as soon as we find out what, what exactly is in that assortment, I'll be sure to share that with you as well. The other thing we were hoping for in, in, in these listings was perhaps maybe our first look at the the Cursed Tiki Temple Adventure Pack, but unfortunately they do not have an image up for that yet. So hopefully we'll be getting that soon. The other really big news this week was Skylanders Imaginators got an update. That's right, the game itself got an update. So if you haven't done, if you haven't played the game in a while, go get online, get this update, and get ready for all the new content that's coming out. So this update is getting us ready for basically waves four and five with the new adventure packs and the new parts and all this stuff. So we got a, a look at the location of the new adventure packs, which includes the Cursed Tiki Temple, which once again reiterated that you need Wildstorm to unlock this level. And then we got in, in the second adventure pack area, which we didn't have a name for until now, but it, we know it's called the Lost Imaginite Mines. And it did confirm then that you need Robo to unlock this level. So if you were watching some of my coverage earlier this week about the this update, you may have heard me mention something about the possibility of a third adventure pack, but I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna step back on that now. I, I don't think there is actually a third adventure pack pictured here. As as some of you pointed out, uh, if you dive a little bit deeper, you, you can actually see the goals of these levels and if you look at the goals of the cursed tiki temple level it mentions an airship and so we're looking at these sparkly outlines here and off to the left i think that what's floating in the air there is it, the airship that that's referenced in the level and then on the island itself is going to be the temple part of the level so I, I looked like three separate structures we had here, but apparently, I mean, it is two separate structures, 
but they both seem to belong to the Curse Tiki Temple Adventure Pack. So I don't think that's third level. There is, a, obviously, that's all we know about for now. That's all they added to the game. They could still add more if they wanted, but for the time being, it looks like we do just have these two levels. This update then also fixed a couple other things, a couple of the bugs that we had floating out there. The if Those of you familiar with the light creation crystal bug uh, going into the collection menu and it, it showed the wrong picture for the light fanged creation crystal, that has been fixed. So your crystals in the collection menu should now show up correctly. And though, then those of you familiar with the heroic challenge bug, uh, from the old games bringing those figures who have completed those heroic challenges into the Skylanders Imaginators, it seemed to erase that data. That has now been fixed and so you should be able to bring those characters safely into this game and uh, not lose any of that data. Uh, finally, the other big piece of this update was that they added all the new Imaginator parts. We knew there were Imaginator parts coming with the Adventure Packs and they have added them to the game already. Some of these parts you can unlock right now. You are able to unlock them, use them on your imaginators, make characters with them, and just like any other parts once, once you've unlocked them. However, the vast majority of the 250 new parts uh, are, are actually locked to the new Adventure Pack levels. So you will need to buy those packs, unlock those levels, and play through them to unlock these new parts. Uh, unfortunately, that, that's not something you're just going to be able to do by uh, right now. You're going to have to buy those packs in order to get those parts. Um, I know a lot of you have been asking if that means these parts are going to be added to the Creator app as well. And I do believe they will, but they, as far as... As of this recording, they have not been added yet, and I don't know when exactly that's going to happen, but I would expect them to add those to the app as well eventually. Finally, speaking of apps and mobile games, uh, we got another little update, so a kind of strange tweet out of nowhere um, about a Skylanders mobile game. And we knew there was a Skylanders mobile game in development from the news we got from the conference call last week, but... Now it seems we may have a little bit more info. If this is indeed the game that they were referencing, uh, it seems that it's being developed by a Korean developer called Come To Us or Come To Us, or I'm not sure how, how you pronounce that exactly, but uh, they have been in the mobile game for a long time. They, they, they have a pretty good track record. They know what they're doing with mobile games. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what they can do with Skylanders. And as you can see in this tweet, it references a Skylanders RPG game. And if you ask me, there have always been small elements of RPG in Skylanders already. But it'll be interesting to see what they can do with it if that's their main focus for this game. So we don't have a lot more information, but just a little more uh, that might pique your interest there. So that's all we have. That's all the news. It was a lot to take in, I know, but a lot of exciting stuff going on in Skylanders right now. So stay tuned. We're only a couple of weeks away from the release of Way 4 and new adventure packs and new parts and all that. So I'm sure, I'm hoping we'll be able to get some more leaks on that soon and get some more images perhaps of the Cursed Tiki Temple. But only time will tell. So stay tuned.